Hey guys, welcome to my first basic guide on e economics as well as experience for teamfight tactics. This is going to be a very introductory guide to learning about how they use gold and how the how gold works in the game as well as experience and combining the two as well as introducing two strategies that people are using to combine these two to create powerful in-game units as well as have very very strong econ. Uh, first, let's cover how gold works in this game. So you get five basic gold default per round. You get one gold per 10 gold unused up to 50. This is called interest. So a lot, when you watch a lot of people play the game, they will save up their gold whenever they can to accrue interest over time. Uh, usually you want to be at 50 gold as much as you can so you can get the maximum plus five gold per round. I Meaning instead of five, you get double the amount of gold, 10. Also, and the final thing that happens for gold is win streaking or loss streaking. You get up to plus three uh, a gold for a win streak or a loss streak. Uh, your win streaks and loss streaks start at two wins or losses, five wins or losses, and eight wins or losses in a row. Then you get plus one, plus two, or plus three gold for that. Uh, now let's talk about experience. So the way experience works is that you get two default experience per round, and four gold buys four experience. Uh, you'll start with levels one, then level two, then level three. These will be your creep rounds at the very beginning of the game, right after the carousel. And you'll go into around levels uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine throughout the game. Nine is really hard to get. Usually you don't end up there at the end of the game. Usually you'll end around seven or eight. Um, but that's how XP works in this game. So a lot of people are asking me, when do you use XP? I think a good default overview when they use XP is generally you use one interest worth of gold to buy XP. It's pretty basic. If you can put in a strong unit to secure, let's say a win streak or just secure your health, that's a good time to do it. So a good example is uh, usually a good rule of thumb that I tend to follow is if you're eight experience away or AKA eight gold away, it's a good time to level. What happens what happens leveling this way is uh, you essentially throw away one gold for one more unit, uh, one gold that round for one more unit. And usually, cause you take so much damage in teamfight tactics, that extra unit will save you more in health than what you would have gained through the additional gold. Now that we've talked about the default gold as well as experience in the game, let's talk about two strategies to be able to combine these two to effectively win the game. So the first thing I'm gonna cover is something that's very popular. Uh, I first heard about it from Recful, and then I would say streamers like Hafu popularized this. Uh, this was really, really popular beforehand. Uh, I personally don't like to do this that much, but it's called the reroll strategy. So what this strategy does is you pretty much never spend XP on leveling, and you never spend gold, except for, for buying the tier one units that you want up until after uh, the Krug PVE round. Uh, and then after that happens, you will be at eight of 10 going into level five. So you spam reroll nonstop and look for one star units that you want to build a comp around. What this does, the strategy behind this is you essentially spend so much gold to make your army very, very, very powerful. I, I, you have five units in and they're all two star up. Potentially, you have one three-star unit or higher. Three-star units are very, very strong. They have almost twice the health as a two-star unit, and they do a ridiculous amount of damage, especially when stacked. And they use this to ride a win streak, one a plus one or plus two win streak, all the way up into where they can save Econ to be relevant later. It puts a lot of pressure on other people in the game, and you're pretty much riding clear if you hit the right stuff. Uh, this will give you a pretty high chance of hitting a three-star every single time you use it. Um, I think personally, I don't like this as much. The downside is you're, you you tank your econ for this, and if you start if you don't hit the right units, it kind of sucks. It feels really bad. Uh, you delay your ability to get four cost units, which are very very powerful and game changing. And you're hoping that you win streak up to the point where you can get that. But it's a valid strategy, and it's got gotten constant top fours with a lot of different players. Uh, the next strategy I'm going to introduce is the uh, econ strategy. I'm going to talk about this strategy also based around the Krug round. Essentially what happens is you kind of figure out what pairs you're going to go for and you just end up saving gold. You only level once before um, the Krug round. And for the most part, you just want to be saving gold. To, so you have around 30 gold, 20 to 30 gold around Krugs. Then what ends up happening is three or four rounds later, you should have 50 gold. Uh, then you hold your gold to level to six and then you start re-rolling. What this ends up doing is uh, you'll probably end up eat a lot of damage by doing this. This is something that you do when you don't have a lot of uh, strong pairs. You're just taking a lot of damage and you're getting first in the carousel. Like you're getting first big carousel every time. Um, that's your comeback mechanic. You're, you're going to use a carousel as well as 
your extra econ to propel yourself back to the game future in the future so you hit six you'll you'll get the three stars uh and potential uh, four stars uh, faster than anyone who's doing the early reroll strat and you have a really good economy to be able to kind of do whatever you want whether it's you reroll down to 30 or 20 to be able to find certain three two or four stars and what ends up happening is you just constantly spend time re-rolling on level six until you have an appropriate enough army where you can then go to level seven and look for four cost units because seven is really the level you want to be if you're looking to, to three uh two star these four cost units uh both of these strategies are very viable i personally use the, the uh the econ strategy which is what I, I don't i don't even have a name for it. i'm just called uh this econ strategy for almost every other game that i do especially if i'm doing poorly it's very effective at being able to give yourself a good I guess re a good resource pool to be able to work with to pivot in the kind of way that you'd want. Um, but it's kind of dangerous because you'll take a lot of health while doing it. So be careful. And this is definitely something where you need to value a carousel very highly. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I'll come back with you with brand new, better TFT content in the future. But this is a good start. <laughs>